New news in a CBS Sports HQ where the Dallas Cowboys are retaining Mike McCarthy as their head coach. This first reported by ESPN and confirmed by CBS lead NFL insider Jonathan Jones. With McCarthy at the helm, Dallas has won 12 games each of the past three seasons, but has yet to make it out of the divisional round. This decision comes despite an embarrassing home loss to the Green Bay Packers 48-32 in the wild card round last Sunday. Next season will be the final year of McCarthy's current contract. What up, world? It's your guy, BA for Real 100. Welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute. I'm, I'm kind of tight right now. I am super kind of tight right now, man. As y'all seen from the beginning of this video. Yes, yes, yes. I know it's a lot of y'all cowboy haters out here talking about, ha ha, look at y'all, ha ha ha. Mike McCarthy is going to be our coach for 2024. This is what I call insanity. This has to be truly, this is truly insane. You do the same stuff and you go over and over. You, you do the same exact thing over and over again and you get the same results. With Mike McCarthy, our team hasn't been disciplined. I said this in my last rant. I said this in my damn last rant. Sorry, y'all. I told myself this is 20, it's 2024, the year of the eight mama mentality. We're not going to get emotional. It's just sports. It's just sports. But how the hell we bring Mike McCarthy back? The team has led the league in penalties the last three years, and it's not even close. Nah, B, nah, B, but you know, they say, they uh, but you know, B, this is what it is when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys. They won 12, your, your Cowboys won 12 games three years in a row. Man, that hasn't happened in, in two decades. I don't give a damn. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I've been a fan for 35 fucking years. Excuse my French. A fan for... 35 fucking years. And I'm trying to be cool. And I'm trying to be optimistic. But I've been optimistic. Now, all we need to do is continue to bring back Dan Quinn. So he can have, so we can get to the playoffs next year. And instead of running man, he's going to run zone that one game. And we're going to get killed by another young team. And then the second thing that needs to happen after this is... We need to go ahead and pay Dak Prescott $57 million a year. Yeah. Jerry Jones, man. I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know what type of, I don't know how you've compromised yourself behind the scenes to certain different people, certain, certain different players, certain different coaches, but we're not rocking like this, man. You got to understand, man, you, 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 you hurting, you hurting the brand. And I know you probably don't think that because it's the star. Everybody likes the star. It's America's team. Well, it's always been my team. It's always been my team. But what are you doing to get better? How are we going to get better? It's not about winning 12 games in a season, three years in a row. It's about winning in the playoffs. It's about taking it to the next level. It doesn't look like you're trying to take it to the next level, sir. Looks like you're content because crazy people like myself are going to continue to love and watch the Cowboys play and watch us lose. Y'all got one more season, man. One more season. Oh, uh, hell, I'm going to start watching college football because y'all know I don't really watch college football like that. But I'm probably going to have to look at it. I'm going to have to look up a team because I didn't go to college. Well, I didn't go to no big college, should I say. I went to college, but I didn't go to no big university, no UT or no University of Washington, no Oklahoma, Alabama. I ain't go to none of these schools. University of Michigan, shout out to y'all. I'm going to have to start looking at some co collegiate teams because the NFL thing is just not working out. It's almost been, it's been about five or six days since my Cowboys and Dak Prescott, oh, I want to throw a pick six ass, has been, man, chill, B. I'm sorry I'm emotional, y'all. But y'all don't understand. 
And I'm sure if, if you're an Eagles fan, if you're a Redskins fan, or if you are, I said Redskins, I'm sorry, Commanders, the Commodore, if you're a Commodore fan, or um, a Giants fan, I'm pretty sure y'all are laughing. But y'all can shut up too. You know why? <laughs> y'all team made it as far as we did. We probably at the, they, the players are probably kicking it together right now, having a party in Cancun somewhere. But I'm fed up with this, man. I'm super fed up with this. I'm in my feelings. I'm in my feelings. And I told myself I wasn't going to get super emotional on here and start cursing and things. But y'all understand, like, I really, I'm a I'm a diehard, diehard Cowboys fan. And what I'm seeing with us bringing Mike McCarthy back, what does this do for the team? Let's talk about it. What it does is it, it gives us another year for the media and everybody else like Stephen A. Smith to be like, yeah, they're going to win during the regular season. They might win 13 or 14 games this year. They're going to be in the first, second, or third seed in the playoffs, but they're going to lose again. Why? Because they don't got no discipline. The players, hey, just wait. That's what Stephen A. Smith say. Just wait. Shout out to Club Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp, 50 million views, Cat Williams. But I don't like that nigga either because he's going to be on the same stuff. Y'all don't play nobody. Look at y'all. Mike McCarthy, at least with Kellen Moore, which everybody be hating on, at least he won a divisional game. I mean, he went to the divisional. At least he won one playoff game. And I know people, oh, Mike McCarthy, he's got, he's he's won championship. He did it. This nigga had Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play. That Prince got not built like that. And he never will, most likely. So now, all I can say is, we better get us a dope fire defensive coordinator and or we got to make sure we get some linebackers in there. I hope y'all get some linebackers in there. And Michael Parsons, get your bars up, Mike. Mike, get your bars up. Y'all niggas already wanting to party, talking about how good you are. You not Lawrence Taylor, nigga. Not. I got to get on y'all. Dak Prescott. I heard, I hear all of these niggas, like Law Nation. Shout out to Law. That's my peoples, man. I rock with Law. Been on the platform a few times. Shout out to Vach Lombardi. Shout out to A to Z. Shout out to all of them niggas. Shout out to Sky. Shout out to all of them niggas. But y'all niggas, man. They, I think that a re... Oh, it's not Dak's fault. Dak had an amazing season. Dak had an amazing season in 2016. And we were number one seed in the, NL, in, in the NFC. In the NFL, actually. But it's the same damn results. I need y'all to stop coddling. Stop coddling Dak. Oh man, he still had 400 yards, and you know the defense couldn't hold a couldn't hold a cup of water. Yeah, we need help over there too. Thank you, Dan Quinn. I didn't come on here to rant, y'all. I promise. I didn't come on here to rant this long, but Mike McCarthy, you better do something this year. This is your last year of your contract, and Jerry's being nice and letting you actually come through and coach the squad. I hope I hope you got your shit together, sir, because we need you to have your shit together. Why do we need you to have your shit together? It's because we don't need no we. We don't need uh, our our defense and our offense jumping off sides, running into kickers, running into uh, uh, people in the field of punt, uh, of catching the punts. We don't need none of that, man. We don't need none of these penalties like that. And like I said in my prior blog, penalties are put back and relates to what the go, relates back to what the coaching is because that means that there is no discipline and when there is no discipline that means that the players lack <laughs> for like a broken record the players lack respect of the coach 
So now it's time to put it's time to put it's time to hold people accountable. And let me get back to Mr. Prescott because I know, like I said, watching all of them and Sky and them, they all like, oh, let's hold Dak Prescott's hand. You know, that's my quarterback. That's my quarterback. Shut up, y'all are my favorites. Shut up when it comes to Dak. Put heat on that nigga. He got to get better. It's gonna be his ninth year in the NFL, and he only got two playoff wins. Or is it one? I don't know. We've been losing so damn much. I'm losing track of time. And I'm fucking almost 40 years old, man. Get your bars up, man. Get your bars up. McCarthy, one more year. One more year. Peace and love, y'all. I just had to, I just had to vent real quick to my peoples, man. Go Cowboys. And one more year. Just one more. That's it. That's it. I'm not fucking around. One more. That's it. Um, are they talking yeah. about the boy? Are they doing talk about the boy? Yeah. I hear him. Oh, well. Uh, look, they want me dead. Heard of some cracks in my head. Yeah, that's what they said. I come around and be dead. Thought you all wanted the bread, so go get the spread. You know why I be? Come and see me. See what it be. Realest nigga in my city, I keep it 103. They want me dead, heard it's a price on my head. Yeah, that's what they said. I come around and be dead. Thought they all wanted the bread. So go get the spread, you know why I be. Come and see me. me. See what it be. Realest nigga in my You already know what it is. Your boy Murder Book, the easy man. Dot bomb represented, man. But right now, I'm chilling with the Moan Boys at the Get Your Bars Up. You just know how we play, man. Get your balls up, man. Your shit on the arm. My shit, I got it. Talk! 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 Get your balls up. Yes, sir. Yo, love, bro. Appreciate it, man. Are they talking about the boy? Are they doing talk about the boy?